is going on, happy people? Today is a special day. That dude right there, A, number one, has a bunch of bait for us. That's Tom, he's a super cool kid. But, I am filming with the guy who got me into filming, Jeff Aderman. And uh, you're gonna see a lot about him, but I've traveled the world with him. He's holding my camera right now, and we're going fishing. But first, we gotta get some bait. This cat right here, He's been on the channel a few times, but he is the hardest working young man in Palm Beach County. I'm pretty for sure of that. He gets up before daylight every day, goes out and catches these fish. We call them goggle eye. They're little turbos. They run around so fast. They're pretty expensive, but they're very worth it because they last all day. And pretty much everything in the world that lives in the ocean loves to eat them. Now. Tommy, if people are coming down here to fish in South Florida and they want to get bait from you, how do they get in touch with you? Call me on my cell phone. All right, you guys, it is a beautiful day and I'm ready to fish. Have a good one. Bye. That's my friend right there, Mr. Jeff Aderman. Rob, your anchor sucks, dude. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the day. Putting out that first bait. Nice goggle eye, little gumdrop on a flat line. I mean, the opportunities are endless. Please be something for dinner, y'all. Got no idea what I got here. I, I have a feeling it's gonna be a little shark. No, nope. I think it's a... Uh, Oh, it's a red grouper. I just don't think he's big enough, dead gummit. 17 inches. Let's just throw him in the live bait well and check fish rules. I don't know how long they have to be, but if that joker's legal, I guarantee you he's getting eaten. Wonderful, they're closed. Uh, fish rules, they're closed, and they have to be 20 inches long, so he's short and out of season. Thank you, fish rules. I wanted to show y'all the descent, but he decided he was descending before y'all were ready. So this has been one of the toughest days of fishing I've had in a long time, but I'm still having a good time. This is my ace in the hole, little 30 pound leader, bought a three aught circle hook, and we're just gonna drift along here. And we're gonna drop little live baits, and little, little dead baits, little chunks of bait down to the bottom. See if we can't catch mangrove snapper, lane snapper. Uh, heck, anything that'll fry up and taste good, that's what I'm fishing for now. I'm checking down to my running back out of the flat, y'all. Oh! Dang, nice fish. <laughs> I literally have fished all day trying to get a decent bite. Why I put before. I don't know, but dude, he's getting, I don't know what I got, but it's a serious fish. All right, well, go around front. I have no idea what I've got. We've literally fished every bait in the world. I dropped down like the all time easiest rig and I got a whopper on. That one, the whopper stopper. <laughs> the whopper flopper. What do you got? No earthly idea. Oh man. Thirty pound leader with Don't a little. Sliding up like a mutton snapper. What do I got there? Oh. No, that's a uh, lesser amberjack. Lesser amberjack. Okay, let's throw them in the uh, bait well until we can check fish rules. Minimum size 14, maximum size 22. Thank you God for fish rules. So the fork length makes him about 19 and three quarters. Oh yes, beautiful fish, nice to eat. We got us dinner, y'all. 
Dude, you guys, just like that, fishing has turned on. Oh, just put another live bait down. Two seconds later, we're, we're tight. When you're using really light tackle like this, you can't, when they want to make that big run, you got to let them. Come on, boys. What do I, uh, dude, it's a big fish. What do I have right here? It's right there. Oh. Yes, it's another one. Is that what that is? No, that's a, that's a regular amberjack. Look at that, nice. All the state game laws, which regulate what we can and cannot take, it's a big reason why we have so many awesome fish around here. El Jefe's over there in the back corner. So you can see he's got his bottom rod and his top rod. Then that's my top rod and my bottom rod. Oh, mama. That's what it's all about, Jeff. Pay your dues, stay after it. Eventually, you get the bite. This one might be something more edible. Do you always use fishing poles that are half your size? Well, it's hard to find ones that are like my size. I'd be fishing with a goggle eye rod all the time. It would look kind of stupid. Yeah, here he is. Look, look. Got him. <laughs> wow. I'm over here. I'm over here with a fish on, and Rob's doing I literally, I reeled one up. As he gets up, I see another one swim around. I just set the lure in the water. This is no joke. <laughs> luckily, your arms are like eight feet long. Well, yeah, luckily for you. Oh, I'm getting worse, dude. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me catch this one as fast as I can. All right, all right. That was a sick bite. Oh. That's what it's all about, dude. I mean, that right there. Oh, it came oh. off! No way! <laughs> Look at that. That's the lure I just had him on. Wow. That's the same little Sabeel jerk bait that I was catching the uh, mackerel on. Okay, now let me run the camera for you, Jeffy. What you got? What you got? What you got? That might be the, that's a snapper, it looks like, maybe. Another jack. Another jack. Get on over here. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Welcome aboard. That's a lesser right there. Lesser? He's got to be over 14 and under 22 to the fork. Oh, he's good. That's my dinner tonight. Perfect. 21. Awesome. So, how are we going to do that? Fillet him and cook him up? Yeah. Catch, clean, and cook. In the box. Got it. Hold on. Make sure he goes in the brine. Ooh. Sweet me. There you go. Rob, Rob. Hold on, hold on. Y'all, it's turning on now. <laughs> We're just throwing one in the box. Next thing you know. Oh, baby. That's what it's all about. You just gotta pay your dues. Wait for him to start fighting, y'all. As soon as that tide started moving to the north, game on. The question is, what do I have? It's only a matter of time until we catch us a nice, another one. Ceviche, ceviche. Perfect. I just had this measuring tape made and um, it's coming into a lot of use today, y'all. There you go, beautiful lesser amberjack. A lot of people call them amberines. All right, you guys, so we've got plenty for dinner. It's getting late in the afternoon. We're gonna head to the hill, but uh, what a wonderful day. We had to work for it, but we finally found some great fish. We're gonna head in, fillet them out, and then we're gonna cook them. Love you guys. All right, you guys, we are back at the dock, and we're gonna cut up some of these fish. 
Um, they can be a little bloody right in the beginning. And the main meat that we're looking for runs right, we call this the shoulder. So we're gonna cut it in two separate pieces. Take your knife and you can tell it's that nice, firm meat as soon as your knife goes in. A nice, super sharp knife will make this a fun process. Take your, take your thumb, pry it up, go above the, uh, the backbone, make your next cut down. Turn it around, just like that. There, nice fillet. Okay, then take your knife, come up around them bones. You got a cat, feed it to him. This, try not to cut like super close to the skin. Might be easier said than done because you'll have a little bit of that bloodline. So what you do is come in here, cut out your pin bones. On these fish, they run the entire length of the fish. Now you got the pin bones out of the way. Come in here and just make one cut down through the bottom. And you cut that blood out. You have a little more here. And just, this is where a good knife really helps when you're just trimming that off. And then you just repeat the process on the other side. But what you're left with are two just gorgeous pieces of fish. If you want, you can trim a little bit of that off, but I don't think it's gonna hurt. Now let's take these back to the house and cook them up. You guys, what a great day it's been. Do you like potatoes, green beans, or fish? Butter. 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 <laughs> she likes butter. Okay, All right, tell everyone who you are. What's your name? Princess. A princess. You're the princess. <laughs> this is a princess, y'all. I like we're gonna, this. We're gonna put some original Everglades on our potatoes and some original Everglades on our green beans. Only difference is on our potatoes, we are gonna add a little bit of cactus dust. It's gonna give it a nice, smoky. I like that. Do you? Yeah. I love it too. I like that. And then on that our <laughs> on our fish, we're gonna use fish and chicken and season it up. I like it. Just like that. Now, the fish is gonna go directly on the grill, but I'm gonna show you how to cook green beans and potatoes on the grill. Hey, Bella, you cannot eat our fruit. With our potatoes that are seasoned up, all we're gonna do is just Make ourselves a little, a little sack, just like that. Now we'll throw those directly on the grill. We're gonna do the same thing with the green beans. All right, Greg, I have to give you props because this pond I have been living at every single day. The kids play in it, we sit by it, we're gonna be eating by it, we have a fire by it, it is the best thing. I could have ever dreamed of. I mean, I never imagined I would be here every single day like I have been, so thank you. I, I love my pond too. Yeah. I, I just like to sit by it. I don't have any fish in it right now, but it's got plants in it, <laughs> and it's clear, and I, I just love to sit out there and listen to it. Thanks a lot, Greg. Thanks a lot, everyone at Team Aquascape. The pond is really, really, really growing on us. We love it, and uh, we're out here cooking right now, so it's just this is what we dreamed it would be. That's potatoes, that's green beans, here's the fish. Whoa, I just about dumped them all in the dirt. That would have been such a foul. Now, once you get your fish on the grill, I've already oiled the grill, so just make sure your fish is not wanting to stick and let her cook. Make 
make sure your chicken's not fried taking the fish. Yeah. Chickens, you're not allowed to take the fish. <laughs> These are blessed moments with the little ones. These fish are all done. Look at all that fish there, y'all. That's all that garlic herb butter, seasoning, spice. Heck yeah. Come on, girls. These are our potatoes. You can do this literally anywhere, over an open fire, wherever you want. They steam, they got all the butter. They are lovely. These green beans look so good, y'all. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful food. Thank you for all these great fish. Thank you for our many blessings, Lord. Please. Nourish it to our bodies and forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ari, is it good? Uh huh. Mm. Mommy loves that. Food. It is good. It's you very it? good. Yeah? What do you think, Dad? You've tried it? Is it done enough? Yes. Yeah, it's perfect. Could be a little bit done. <laughs> I think it's perfect. You've tried the beans yet? Not yet. Woo! That's it, y'all. I am straight up worn out. I got sweat all over my head. I'm tired. We've been fishing since early this morning. I want to tell Tom, thank you so much for the bait. It was perfect. We caught a bunch of awesome fish today and had a great time. Jeff, I love you. Thank you so much for helping out today. It was a great time catching up on old stories in the back of the boat. Everybody else, man, thanks so much for being a part of this. This is our life, and I encourage you to get out with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Spend time in the outdoors, hunting, fishing, just enjoying God's creation. Those are memories that can never be taken away. But for today, y'all, that's all I got. Take care, God bless. We gone.